if a colleague raises a grievance against you, um, the first thing to do is establish all the details. So find out as much as possible about the complaints made. You can ask to see a copy of parts of the grievance that actually relate to you so you can start your preparation in terms of what your responses and your defence is going to be to those allegations. It's a good first step to start collecting any evidence that you have. Um, so for example, any emails, letters, notes, um, anything like appraisal forms that you might have that relate to the issues. It's a good start to put a pack together of these um, documents. Once you've done that, it's also a really good idea to put together a chronology so that you've got a good timeline of what's happened. Um, and this will help you prepare each of your responses to the allegations that have been made. If you haven't been told at the beginning of a meeting that a note taker is going to be present to prepare minutes, it's definitely important to check that to begin with um, and ensure that you'll be sent copies of the minutes after the meeting so you can check those and sign to say that you're happy with the accuracy of those notes. Um, once you've done that, it's also good to think about any other witnesses that you might want your employer to interview, um, anyone that can sort of verify your version of events or any inconsistencies in the allegations is really important. Once there's an investigation, you will have an entitlement to know what the outcome is to the grievance um, in terms of the parts that relate to you, but that won't necessarily be the conclusion of the matter. Your colleague might have a right of appeal at that point.